chaos, unfair, or even an all-out free-for-all. Not things you want to hear about in terms of the rollout of this life-saving vaccine. Yet, medical workers at hospitals all over the country say that is exactly how it's going so far. The most insulting to those on the front lines? Seeing people with little to no contact with COVID patients getting these vaccines before they do. Joining me now, Jennifer DeVincent. She is a NICU nurse at Mass General Brigham Hospital, and she is in the delivery room with COVID positive mothers. So first of all, I know I already gushed to you in commercial break, but thank you for all that you do, and especially as a NICU nurse. Thank you, thank you, and welcome. Um, Jennifer, I know you are frustrated. I read you feel like this this vaccine distribution process is a slap in the face. Tell me why. It is. So, you know, we've been going through COVID for a little over nine months now, and the frontline workers have just been down and out this whole time. So whenever we got news that the vaccine, you know, was finally approved and coming, um, we were getting Pfizer first. So when we heard that was coming and there was a rollout date, you know, the anticipation and excitement for the frontline workers was was unreal. We were so excited. And, you know, just to be able to have that extra protection for us, that safety. Um, and then whenever it rolled out, it didn't quite go as we planned. Like you said, it was definitely a slap in the face. Tell me Instead how, of, tell me how it didn't quite go as planned because, you know, for someone like me, the lay person doesn't work in a hospital, I would think, okay, there'd be priority lists and a hierarchy and you, of course, would be getting a shot. Um, and it's my understanding it's really more of an honor system. Explain. It was. It was more like an honor system. So the way it should have been is they they planned it in waves. So the wave A was supposed to be those frontline workers, those with priority to getting vaccine. Instead of it instead of being just the wave A that was able to sign up, really it was a free for all and anyone could sign up. And it was put out on a Wednesday at three o'clock and you had to log on at that exact moment. And if you weren't on at that exact moment, you were not getting the vaccine. Now, most of the frontline workers are working. Um, I, in fact, was taking care of a baby and I was feeding a baby and I could hear all my coworkers talking and within a matter of minutes, those appointments were gone. So instead of instead of just the, the people that actually take care of the COVID patients um, being the ones to to be able to sign up for the appointments, it was a free for all for everyone. So you had nurse director, you had unit coordinators, you had allied health. Um, so really the ones that are in the rooms taking care of the patients were not only the ones that got to sign up. So, so hang on. Am I hearing you correctly? Are certain, I don't want to lay blame, I don't want to point fingers, but are certain folks in the medical profession maybe fibbing that they are working directly well, with COVID patients in order to get this shot? I wouldn't necessarily say fibbing. I think the I think Mass General Brigham just maybe wasn't as organized in the rollout as they should have been. I think the you know organization and planning and execution of it just wasn't prepared. I think that there was certain criteria that you have to go on and attest to, and I don't think that criteria was as strict as it should have been. So mm. instead of saying, "Are you in? Do you work in the inpatient setting?" meaning, "Do you care for patients?" it was more just kind of a free-for-all where anyone could go on and sign up for an appointment. I got you. I got you loud and clear. Um, I was reading the medical director of emergency preparedness at your hospital says the honor code is necessary for an organization with a staff of more than 80,000. That's their perspective. Like imagine being on their end and trying to make sure they're giving you all uh, the, the, these doses of this vaccine. Let me. Uh, the obvious question is, have you finally been able to get the shot? I did. I actually got the shot on Saturday. Great, great. And how, how are you? You good? Side effects? Anything? Good. It was a doozy. I definitely had some good side effects for a couple of days. I had the body aches, the low grade fever, um, the joint pain, but it was just a couple of days and, and it was gone. Definitely better than weeks or months of COVID. Good, good, good. My last question is just in terms of other uh, you know, hospital officials watching you, other medical professionals, like what would your advice be having gone through this um, when the system doesn't really work so well? What would you say to those hospitals in terms of rolling out this vaccine as more and more will be greenlit? Yeah, really, you know, at the federal level, at the state level, and at the the level of the hospital, Mass General Brigham, they really just need to, to prioritize their, their frontline workers first. They need to make sure all of those for the Brigham and Wave A, all of those get vaccinated. They just opened up yesterday into Wave B. But really, they just need to prioritize keeping their health workers safe so we can take care of our patients.
Thank you for taking care of us. Thank you for speaking up. Jennifer DeVincent. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you.